Hi, my name's Adriana and I'm one of the sonographers at the University of Auckland. Today we're going to be learning about how to scan the liver. We have our lovely volunteer here, Bruce, who is going to act as a model for us to scan. Um, we're first going to start by applying some warm gel. So Bruce, the gel should be warm. Um, during the scan, I might ask you to take in a few big breaths. I might ask you to roll onto your side. If at any point you're really uncomfortable, just let me know, okay? All right. When we apply the gel, again, we want to make sure that we are staying away from the patient so that the tip of the, the gel bottle doesn't touch the patient. And that is for um, infection control purposes. The next thing I'm going to do is select my probe and I'm gonna be using a five, two, one. So it's a five curve linear. Um, and that is so I can get adequate depth and penetration. Now, before we actually start scanning, we want to make sure that we can identify the liver. And it's always important that when we start scanning an organ, we start superior to that organ. That way, if there's any exophytic lesions, we see them. So I found my liver, and I'm first going to scan just the left lobe. Big breath in for me, Bruce. Good. And I'm going to sweep all the way, so I'm looking, angling towards the heart. And now I'm going to start by sweeping down. And I'm not so worried about catching that lateral border of the left lobe. I'm going to adjust my depth as I scan and I'm going to come back up and all the way out where I started. Breathe. Good. Now my next transverse sweep of the left lobe is going to include that tip which I cut off. So I'm going to angle my transducer and I'm going to do that exact same sweep just making sure I keep that tip on the entire time. So a big breath in and hold it in. And again, I angle up towards the heart and I come down and I keep that, that nice tip on and I'm sweeping, changing my depth. And I, can, I come all the way out and back up all the way towards the heart again. Breathe normally. Good. So now I can be quite confident that I've seen the entire left lobe in trans and I'm going to do the exact same thing but now on the longitudinal plane. Now when I first do my sweep, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the IVC or the inferior vena cava as my landmark for where I start my scan. I'm also going to make sure that I have the superior border of the left lobe which means I'm including the diaphragm the entire time I'm sweeping. Now if you look at the um, at the actual screen, sometimes you can see that you get a bit of dropout at the top. What that means is that you either need to increase your pressure or add more gel. So I'm going to start my sweep and I'm going to get Bruce to take a big breath in, hold that breath in, and now I'm going to be sweeping and I'm sweeping and I'm keeping again the superior border and I'm not so worried if I cut off the tip or the inferior border of the left lobe of the liver and I go all the way back to the inferior vena cava and breathe. Good. So now I can be confident that I saw the superior portion of the left lobe of the liver. Now I'm gonna move my probe inferiorly, which will match with the inferior portion of my left lobe and do that exact same sweep. Big breath in. And now I'm not so worried if I cut off the um, diaphragm, I'm just making sure I have that tip on my screen the entire time and I sweep until I no longer have any liver tissue on my screen and I come back all the way towards the IVC and breathe. Good. So now I've done my sweeps and I know there's no pathology, I'm happy to go ahead and take some images. So it doesn't matter if we want to take our images first in longitudinal or in transverse, but I'm going to start in transverse. So what I'm going to have Bruce do is take a big breath in Good, and hold that breath. So the first image I'm gonna take is of the left hepatic vein, breathe normally. And again, I'm making sure that my focus is posterior to the liver, and now I'm going to annotate trans, left, and liver, and I can acquire that image. The next one that I'm going to take is just inferior towards the portal vein. So again, a nice big breath, and hold that breath and I'm going to take the image so that I'm angled more towards, breathe normally, the um, tip of the liver, and then I'm gonna take one more at the same landmark, but angling a bit more medially. So a big breath in and hold it kind of like that. Good. 
and breathe. And the last image that I'm going to take is just inferior to that portal vein. And again, you can see that I'm moving my depth and my focus to be at the posterior level of the liver. And here we go. Notice that I didn't ask Bruce to take a breath in for me because I could get the image without him breathing or holding his breath. Now I'm gonna go on and do my longitudinal images. So the first one that I'm going to take is of the IVC, including the diaphragm. Big breath in, hold it. I'm going to adjust my depth. I'm making sure that my focus is at the posterior aspect of my liver and breathe. I'm gonna annotate so that it says long left liver, perfect. The next thing that I'm going to take is making sure that I show my caudate lobe. So here we are. You can appreciate ligamentum venosum right there, that echogenic line. And I'm only going to adjust my focus so that it's sitting just posterior to my liver. Like that. We'll take that image. And the last one is going to be of the left lobe of the liver. It's called the flag shot. Well, I like to call it the flag shot. Big breath in for me. And we are demonstrating here that tip of the left lobe. We can increase our gain, decrease our depth. The focus is sitting just posterior to the liver. Breathe. What we want to make sure is that we don't have any movement from the heart. And those are all the images we need to take of the left lobe.